So, hope everybody's doing well today. I just thought I'd make a little video about these um, these railing balusters if you bought from Lowe's. If you've had any frustrations with them, I was going to basically share what I've done to make them work out a little bit better, keep them from the wood from uh, bowing and so forth. So, anyway, that's one of them that's up now. I still got to paint those little post caps, but it's on my log home. So, let me, I'm getting ready to put one together here in the garage. Okay, so I'm getting ready to put one together. The brand is Decorators. I don't know if Lowe's is going to keep selling these or not. I mean, they look pretty nice, but um, and you can make them with just two by fours. But I've gone through some headaches with them. Um, 26 inch aluminum balusters. So anyway, the first one that we, my wife and I put together, we, we cussed a lot. So um, let's see, I wanted to find one other part here. Okay, I think I've got everything together. Just to show you on a little sample, this would be a short railing, but um, when you're cutting, it's just two by fours um, for your verticals and your horizontal top piece. Uh, when you're measuring between your post up top, four by fours or whatever you're using, you gotta count for your thickness of this part that goes on the end to hold it. And I think they're like a quarter inch and then I think I allowed another 16th on top of that. but. Do that when you're cutting these pieces. Allow for half inch, maybe another sixteenth after that. Then you want to take and find your center. And then I just made a template. It was four and three quarters inch wide. But that'll give you exactly the four inch spacing based on the thickness of these balusters that will uh, meet code. And and as I always say in my videos, I'm just an amateur, so um, you know always consult a professional and take everything I say with a grain of salt, but hopefully it will help you a little bit. So initially that's what I did. And then, um, you know, use my template, marked it all the way down as far as it would go. Even though the last one's not gonna be, you know, your four inches, you still gotta have the spacing there. Oh, and I just dropped one. So it comes with these little things that go up in the balusters to hold it. And you'll screw them in and then so my wife and I, we just laid them on its side and tried to get them all together. We tried to hold it and put it up and it was a disaster. Uh, they would fall apart, we would cuss. My brother-in-law also put some up on his and the two by fours warped over time. So uh, anyway, I came up with the idea to put some all thread in it. And I tried one all thread at first, but you really need probably two, two all threads per frame. And what you do is you just kind of um, decide where you want it. You know, just, I don't know, this piece here is about eight foot long. So I just went back about, I just ballparked where it would be close enough that it would hold everything together on all three pieces, three sections, and um, <clears throat> hopefully keep it all one piece. So what I did was, um, oh gosh, a Forstner bit. I've had this set for a long time. They come in really handy. Uh, you know, get one wide enough that you can get your washer down in it. Oop, try to get in the film there. That your washer will fit down. I put a lock washer on one side and then 9 16 nuts. This is 3 8 all thread from Lowe's, I believe, or Home Depot. And uh, what I'll do is, uh, well, let's talk about the drilling a little bit. So, on the bottom, I took my Forstner bit and I went down, let's see here, until basically it was flush with this part of the bit. And I wish I had a drill press after that because trying to drill through this hole with a, um, a 3 8 bit and get it straight through is kind of a pain. So what I did is I started and went about halfway. I actually started on this end first and drilled about halfway and then went to the other end and drilled and just met. And let's see if I can show you what you have to do. I just have a flat washer on that end with the nut and I got just enough thread that I can grab it with some vice grips. And oh, I had to, you have to drill these little things out. Um, you're going to want to you're going to have to drill these out see they're already drilled out here 
and you cannot wait well, I guess you can but I tried drilling it with this size drill but I needed for the 3 8 rod and it kept cracking them or I couldn't hold it so you're just going to kind of step it up maybe use a little smaller drill bit I think we only had to use two to get it to work so you drill some of that out and you also might notice these have a real thin base some of the first ones I bought when my wife and I first started putting these up they had a little base that pivoted so you could do like on a staircase as well they would spin and nightmare I hate these things I mean they'd be fine for a staircase but for a, a railing that's going to be just perfectly horizontal and you definitely got to make sure look and see which ones you're buying because you don't want to mix them together and I'll try to show you one that's finished over here and here's one that I put together that I'm getting ready to carry out and actually install and um, there's where I took the Forstner bit and the all threads going all the way through that this particular rod now where I had to put the vice grips on it to hold it while somebody tightened the other end uh, there's still a little bit sticking up so I'll have to actually take the Forstner bit and you know cut me a little bit of dip out or I could you know maybe take a grinder and grind it off but uh, either way but that definitely makes it sturdy helps keep them true and then only other thing I recommend at least temporary until they dry out well um, you know where they won't warp on you is maybe in the center take your block down to your decking screw it in the decking and then screw this into it so that it can't warp there I'm I'm probably just going to leave some little four by fours, um, little block of wood, four inches tall, on a f and uh, just screw it to the deck so it can't warp. Plus, it gives it some extra strength. This little thing here that screws into your post, I've got round logs, so it holds okay. But um, I just would like it a little bit more sturdy. So anyway, hope this helps somebody that uh, has put these up, and maybe I'm redoing them actually. So thought I'd do a quick video and I'm adding some all thread to the ones that I didn't have all thread on and painting them and so forth. I haven't closed out my video yet so I've got my vice grips on there just barely holding the thread with a nut and a flat on that end. It's going through the rod and out the other side and I'm just putting my flat on there. And a lot my nut and basically I'm not going to tighten it up right now um, oh gosh you know what I forgot to do <laughs> I forgot to put all these these little things back on so anyway I'll have to put these on I'll have to pull that back out but once these are back in place I'm redoing this one just painting it um, I will take one of these big clamps and basically you'll get it kind of started almost like a mouth you'll start closing it slowly from the back end to the other end and work your way that way that's why i'm not tightening these right now you just can't it's the best way i found to do it rather than just smush them both down all at one time um, i might try to video that in just a second okay so i forget what these little pieces are called but um these are two that I'm redoing, painted and putting back together. Um, the wood did well, but I didn't realize I had a mixture of these. So <laughs> if you put them all, the ones that are made more for a staircase, I mean, you can put them flat so they're used for any either one, but basically you end up with a half inch, a half inch difference overall because the little baluster doesn't go as flat. So <clears throat> I put the short ones on one side and put the bigger ones on the other so hopefully we won't be talking about a quarter inch and i can kind of level it out and you won't notice it with the naked eye that the this railing is not the same level as one of the other ones so anyway i just wanted you to be aware of that and then i'll show you how i put these things together so basically we <clears throat> i don't have this tight yet i started clamping real ever so slightly on this end and then worked it all the way down to the other end and what we've got right now is these last three won't touch yet so I'm gonna go ahead and torque this one <clears throat> all thread down and then I'll move the clamp down to the end and go ahead and I'll leave this one on and move the end one down and go ahead and get it to where they're all 
long as you can get them to where they're sliding, you know, sliding without falling off, you know, it falls off, but you can actually slide it and get it to hang on both, <clears throat> you know, then you can move to the next one. So it's kind of where we are right now. And another thing, a great tool is these uh, pass-through socket set. I think this is a Cobalt, yeah, Cobalt brand from Lowe's. Man, these things are awesome. You know, the all thread can come all the way out the end. So that's where we are right this minute. All right, so this one's together. Don't have the top piece, of course, but I just got to take a grinder and knock that off. And that's the bottom, so it can stick out just a little bit. You won't even see it. And it looks pretty good. So I'm getting ready to start on my last two and then get them all hung. Be done hopefully for several years. Um, try a different product when these wear out. But um, anyway, hopefully that helps y'all a little bit if you bought these things and are getting ready to attempt them. Um, they do look okay when they're up. Save you money over, I'm sure, buying all aluminum. But uh, <laughs> a little bit of pain until you get a system down on them that works. And best of luck, and we'll talk to y'all later.